People are often asking me, when you take out grains, wheat, pastas, processed foods, and go light on meats, what do you have left in your diet? So in this series, I'm going to show you how to make cruciferous vegetables that can be absolutely addictive. Now I'm talking about things like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and we're going to start with cauliflower. Now, cauliflower is something that deserves regular attention in your diet because it's so healthy for so many reasons. It's full of vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, and other phytonutrients, which are great for immunity and so much more. It boosts brain and heart health, the sulfur and it helps to fight cancer, it's an anti-inflammatory, and it's great for detox and digestion. The only problem is it's not the most typically appealing taste. I mean, who do you know that regularly eats cauliflower? But this cauliflower that I'm about to show you is so far off from the typical raw or steamed versions that I've never been a big fan of, and it's a huge crowd pleaser as well. Now, just so you know, when you go to get cauliflower, what you want to look for is something very firm and white with no brown or yellow spots in it. Also, if it has firm green leaves like this one, then it's likely to be fresh. We're also going to make a roasted broccoli, which is a close cousin to cauliflower with a similar nutritional profile. Now, this helps to lower inflammation as well as cholesterol. It's great for bones and it's high in fiber, helping to curb overeating. And both are high in phytochemicals, which are great for your immunity and so much more. Now, just so you know, as far as cooking these, a 2007 study found that boiling these can undermine the effects of the good enzymes that are in them. So the best way to go is either to raw or steamed or roast them like we're going to do here. And we're gonna start by preheating the oven to 425 degrees. And then we're gonna cut the cauliflower into florets. The smaller they are, the crispier they will be. Just cut it in half and in half again, and then cut the stems off. Now this is another food that you always want to get organic because not only does it absorb the pesticides, herbicides, and fungicide like a sponge, but it goes directly onto the skin and there's a lot of little crevices where they can sit. So if you, for some reason, don't get this organic or you want to really wash it thoroughly, put this upside down in a bowl with salt water and let it sit for 15 minutes. Just be sure to dry it thoroughly for this recipe. Now most places are gonna tell you to throw away the stems, but I can tell you, as long as we're cooking it, you won't even notice the difference between the florets and the stems. So just chop these up and throw them into the mix. Now put this in a bowl with three tablespoons of oil and mix it up well. I prefer coconut oil or avocado oil because they cook a lot better, but you can use olive oil as well. If yours is solid like mine, just heat it up for a little bit over the stove. Don't use the microwave, and you can see my video on the dangers of that. Then lay them out on the pan. I like to use parchment paper, but you can go either way. If you do use parchment paper, get the unbleached and chlorine-free one. Place these in one layer, all close to each other, because we're gonna sprinkle the spices on top. Now you can just season this with olive oil and salt, and it's gonna taste great. But a lot of the foods I make, I use as a vehicle for herbs and healthy spices, and this is perfect because they taste great with cauliflower and they're gonna bake right in. Now, a famous trio in Ayurvedic medicine is fennel, cumin, and coriander. And they're used to balance and reset the body and mind. Now, they're used for so many things, but particularly they're invaluable for digestion, as well as detox, and burning up excess inflammation. Sprinkle about a half a teaspoon of each of these evenly across the top. Now, according to Fox News, 74% of people are dealing with some digestive disorder and they're even too embarrassed to talk to their doctor about that. So this is gonna help greatly with that. And you could also make a tea out of those three herbs or spices as well. Now, you don't have to add all the spices that I'm gonna add, but I'm just putting them on because I have them and they work very well together. Now, the next thing I'm gonna add is turmeric, ginger, and either black pepper or cayenne pepper, depending on who I'm making this with. Add a quarter to a half a teaspoon of each one of these, the same way, sprinkled across the top. Now, turmeric is about one of my favorite herbs, and it's been proven more effective than 14 different prescription drugs. Ginger is another very powerful herb, and the two of them are great together, helping to lower inflammation, great for immunity and digestion. Now, black pepper and cayenne pepper help to create more digestive enzymes, and they're a catalyst, meaning they make other herbs more bioavailable and help them to do their job better. Now, between the sulfur in the cauliflower, as well as the turmeric, this is going to be a super cancer fighter. And because they taste so good together, people aren't gonna even know that they're this uh, great health food combo. 
And the other thing that you can do is chop up some onions or garlic and add those right in here as well. Or just add garlic and onion powder if you prefer. Now cook this for about 35 to 40 minutes at 425, watching to see how burnt you like them. Now on the broccoli, I just mixed it up with some avocado oil. Now I'm gonna cut up the top part of the stems and put them in there. And for the rest, I'm gonna shred that and put them in with a salad. Added some Himalayan pink salt, garlic powder, and rosemary. They go a little bit better with the taste of broccoli. And since these cook faster, I cook them in separate trays, putting the broccoli in 10 minutes after the cauliflower but they can be cooked in the same tray together if you don't have room in the oven. So you should get about three or four servings out of each one of these. And there's a lot of different directions you can go as far as spicing this. You can really put on whatever spice you like or take another direction and put a buffalo hot sauce on it and have a kind of vegetarian buffalo wings. So I'm gonna have many different recipes at the blog at theartofunity.com. And in part two, I show you how to make a great cauliflower mashed that most people agree is way better than any mashed potatoes, and I explain why it's way healthier for you. You could also see my healthy recipes playlist at YouTube, and I hope you try this because it's a great way to bridge people into getting them eating healthy to show them how much better health food can taste than the typical processed or fast food that they've been eating. So good luck with this.